food company and an apartment REIT are among this week's growth and income opportunities. And here to tell us more about them is Todd Bunton, our growth and income strategist at Saks.com. So the food company is Kellogg. Yep. Well name recognized name. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you've talked about them before. No, I haven't. Um, but I, I think somebody in your group has. But nonetheless, uh, this is a good growth and income story, huh? It is, yeah. And we're all, we're all, we're all familiar with their cereal brands. Obviously, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Frosted Flakes, they have Mini Wheat. Uh, Rice Krispies, but they also have a lot of other snack foods. Uh, obviously, Ego, Pop Tarts, we're all familiar with, Nutrigrain bars. Mm -hmm. uh, but they also own the Kashi brand. That, that's a fast growing brand for them. They own Keebler, mm -hmm. which I wasn't aware of, and Cheez Its, and they just acquired the Pringles brand. So they're sort of moving into more of the snack foods area, too, mm -hmm. not just, not just uh, on Cereal. your breakfast table. Yep. Right. So uh, about 40% of their sales come from overseas too, which has been a good driver for them. Uh, they're in obviously Europe, of course, uh, but Latin America and Asia Pacific have been solid growth markets for them. And even here in the U.S., they're seeing solid volume growth and act and price realization. Uh, and that's that's been good for them because obviously they have higher commodity, uh, higher input costs from higher commodity prices. They've been able to pass along some of that to consumers um, here in the U.S. and abroad. And that's driven solid top line growth and solid bottom line growth too. Uh, the company has delivered five consecutive positive earnings surprise. They just came off a solid fourth quarter beat in January. Uh, management provided a solid outlook uh, for, for next year. And that caused analysts to raise their estimates and sent it to a Zach's rank of two. So it's, it has good earnings momentum here. Uh, analysts expect mid to upper single digit earnings per share growth. And, Basically, no matter what happens with the economy, they're probably going to meet those targets because it's a consumer staple. People are still going to buy cereal even if the economy is bad. Uh, so you've got good steady growth here, not tremendous growth, but solid growth, and also good income. They pay a dividend that yields 3%, and they've increased that at a 6% compound annual rate uh, over the last 10 years. So they have solid free cash flow, and they're returning that to shareholders through dividends. And you're getting all that at a pretty reasonable price. They trade about 15 times forward earnings. Historically, they trade at 17 times. So there could be solid total return potential here over the next uh, three to six months. Yeah, the only outlier that I see uh, in that story is the winter wheat and corn stocks reports lately mm -hmm. have uh, indicated some issues with what's down on the farms. Uh, you know, stockpile-wise, and that may drive some prices higher in yeah. this category. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the story. Is can they pass those costs along to consumers? Here in the U.S., it's tough, yeah. uh, obviously, with higher taxes for people. Their budgets are constrained, but so far, they've been able to. We'll see if they can continue to do it in, two thir in 2013. So far, analysts say yes. Yeah, okay. Well, in the meantime, you do need somewhere to store and eat your cereal, right. uh, and the, so that's where this apartment REIT comes into play, I guess, huh? Yeah, and I, I've been <laughs> bullish on apartment REITs for a while. Uh, this, this is Essex Property Trust. ESS is the ticker symbol. They own 164 properties along the West Coast. They're in Southern California, Northern California, and Seattle. Very high rent areas, too. Uh, where supply is somewhat constrained. And yes, people are building more apartments and that's gonna you know, increase the supply and maybe moderate some of the rental price increases that we've been seeing. But, but so far, and probably in 2013, that, that's not the case. Uh, this, comp this company also operates in, in high barrier to entry places too, so where supply is relatively constricted. And right now demand is outstripping supply as uh, people continue to move out of mom's basement. They might, the job market is improving a little bit and they're, they're starting to move into apartments. Mm. Um, people are bullish on the housing market. I think that story has a lot longer to play out. Uh, I think apartments are, are kind of the way to, way to go for the next year or two. Okay. Um, the company delivered a strong fourth quarter beat. They saw a solid increase in rents, uh, very solid occupancy rates, and that drove uh, solid bottom line growth. And management provided a bullish outlook for 2013 as well. It caused analysts to raise their estimates, uh, sent it to a Zach's rank of two. So good earnings momentum here. Like I said, I think it's going to be a good growth story here. You could see you know, solid uh, funds from operation growth over the next couple of years. As people continue to move into apartments, and this company can increase rents. Um, so you've got, you've got that going forward. And as a REIT, they had to pay out at least 90% of their income to shareholders to avoid paying tax on that money at the corporate level. So they pay a dividend that yields 2.9%. And you can see since 2000, they've steadily increased that. And over the last 10 years, they've increased it at a 4% compound annual rate. So you're getting a 2.9% yield, and that's likely to continue increasing as the company 
generates more income over the next couple of years. So good total return potential here. Also, they're trading at about 20 times forward earnings. That's actually in line with their historical multiple. So uh, I'd say reasonably priced here, and there's a lot to like. Okay, do you own either one? I do not. All right, check out other stock picks like our Bull and Bear of the Day and other stock picking strategies on our website, Zax.com, if you're not there already watching this video. And check back often because they change often. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.